Welcome to our daily Facebook Live coronavirus update. Glad to have you guys with us. This is a little Fela. Ella Flagler, how you doing? Good evening. Kaitha Costin Andrews, how are you? Isel Mark S. S.L. Martinez, how are you? Naomi Candice Donnell, Yvonne Marsh, Candy Sadiqua Hines, how are you? Belinda Potts, Naomi Candice Donnell, Diana Murray, Latoya Lindsay, how are you? E. Daryl Vaughn, glad to see you up here and on the job. Kim Loyal, Nina Page, Donna Cheatham, good evening, good evening, Miss Martinez, Maurice Uman Sr., Michelle Coleman. Jasmine Luciano, good afternoon. Kim Barnes, hold it down over there in Grafton Ave. Same time, same situation. How are you? Felicia Deidre Melton, thank you, thank you. Always faithful, simplified. Thank you, thank you uh, for the day, too. I appreciate that. Kathy Pachel, good afternoon. Ferrari Feliciano, how are you? Shelly Fatia, God bless you as well. Ardelia McElroy, holding it down. Over in the Central Ward, Aline Nieves, Carlos Lane, Bishop Cleveland Blash, praise the Lord. Dorothy Crona, praise the Lord. Monica Green, how are you? Peace and blessings to you, Tanya Tucker, Michelle Burgess, Cass Sevier, peace and blessings, Cass. Mia Cox, how are you? God bless you. Florence Jeter, Amy Lugo, Gloria Anderson, Jocelyn Brick. Thank you, peace, and continued blessings to you, too. This is a little fail out. Doris Howell, good evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gladys Santana, how are you? God bless you. Martha Masani Barnwell, peace and love to you, and thank you. Courtney Bridget, Renee Sanders Blaine, hello, thank you. Yes. Very, very scary. We we'll talk about it a little bit. Sherry Sarite, Sharon Powell, Kenya Kip King, how are you? Nada Ivelisse Pinho, Nadia, how are you? Cynthia Taylor, Ali Workflow, I got it right today. Ali Workflow, no days off, my brother, out there with us all the time. The one, the one, Kearney, good evening. Lola Mento, how are you? May Newsome, good afternoon. Tawana Johnson, Wilder Moreno, how are you? The set Alvarez Masonette, God bless you. Zakia Sharif, Wendelin Rodriguez, good afternoon. Julia Barron, Lugardo, CPR, First Precinct, how are you? Willie Fareed, Regina White, Farida Thompson, David Page, Wanda Farley, Joanne Harris, Pearl Jackson, God bless you. Annie Williams, Jewel Daniels, how are you? And God bless. Tatanisha Williams, Veronica Bowie, Kenya Harris, Yvette Thomas, Thompson, Devon Sally, Ida Williams, Sharon, Sharon Williams, Kim Moultrie, Leah Gemini, Phyllis Shelton Overy, good afternoon to you. And Roberta Lofton, good afternoon. Sharon Fleming, peace and love. Connie McQueen, Tanya Bowser, Cynthia Taylor, how are you? How are you? How are you? Dennis, Denise Hurd. Thank God for that. Thank God for that that they're getting that done. Stay on them. Wendelin Rodriguez, God bless you and thank you. CJ Hebron, blessings. Barbara Gibson, victory, victory, and more victory. Cindy Bell Pickney, bless you. Charlena Terry, Sh Shaquilla, Shaquilla Hill, hope I did that right. Kanila Anderson, Walaikum Salam to you. There go, Yvonne March. How are you? Oh, wow. Public service. I have no idea. We're dealing with them now. They want to rip the streets up. We, we, we're dealing with them now. Lisa Twitty. Thank you. Karima Norman. Madeline Cosme. Deborah Bodison Bradley. Shirley. I can't say that last part. Sly. There you go. Linda Barnes. Tony Carter. God bless. Thank you. Khalili. Milatos, good evening. Allison Frazier, Joel Daniels again. Zuma Guzman, 
Onion, Amina. Okay, you gotta say where when you say South Ward is big. I, t I had a conversation about this yesterday, y'all. Don't let me get into it again. You have to say exactly what's going on, where it's at, and what's happening. You know, that's what you got. We need to be helpful here. We have to be helpful. May McKnight, Roberta, Roberta Lofton, Rosemary Keelans, Karima Anque, Lauren Michelle. Hold the line. <laughs> Linda Farge, Roberta Long, Melissa Black, Johnson, Linda Long, Shimana McLean, Marjorie Talaferro. That is Fela. Check them out. Robin Corner Gay, Gloria Coward, Jennifer Ahmad, Myra Crenshaw. We got some folks up here today. Mary Moses Hunter, how are you? God bless you. Anna Carolina Victor, Victorine, Victorino Moraes. I hope I said that's right. I hope I said that right. Moraes. I hope I said it right. Sharon Williams. Okay, they can post that, but they can't evict, Sharon. Marsha Jeffy McAllister, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Olive Olive Lowry. Joyce Daly Hargrove. The ha the Havelin Kinchin. Sylvia Cruz Rodriguez. Jacqueline Quiles, fill out your census. Over there right now at the Rafael Hernandez School, Nafisa Kareem, Bernice Carter. Alice George, Takara Labadis, Linda Robinson, Cynthia Parrish. We going through it. We going through it. We going through it. Haiti Santiago, Lori Jackson, Beth Chiva Small, Deborah Turner. You know I'm looking for somebody. Cynthia Taylor. Shout out to y'all in these stories. Marlene Freeman. Y'all like that's Bela. Linda Reddick, we clear those boys up from 515 every single day. They out there, we're going to go back there today if they still out there. Shanita Carter, we clear them out. You know, I, you know, I would be more lenient on them if they wore masks, because I know some of them would be listening and some of their friends are listening too. Tell them to put on some masks while they're out there. At least have some respect for their neighbors. And stay out in front of the store so people can actually go buy something, right? Lejeune Crooney Green. All politics are local. WRNU radio station. Jermaine Johnson. Henrietta Harris. Brenda Hamilton. I like the song. That's why I'm going along. Teresa Boyd Hardy. Nikki Petway Obudu. Yes, 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 yes. Cassandra. Have to keep it real brutal. They're doing it on a regular. Move your car on a regular and they'll be doing it. They're out there right now on a regular. Street sweeping is back in effect. It's been piled up for a little while because people's cars were in the way. Then we started towing cars. People started complaining that the cars were getting towed. We can't have it both ways. We got to move the cars and we, we go. they out there cleaning the streets. They're out there regularly right now. Good good evening. Danny Hiro. Latin food and flavor on Verona Broadway. Okay. Nobody should be inside. So if they're inside, they're doing the wrong thing. They're doing the wrong thing. We're going to really go check them out. Nobody should be inside right now. Nobody should be inside. Monique Love, how are you? Speak to everybody. God bless you. Michelle Tucker. Elaine Cooper. Lee Lee Harris. How you doing? Vanessa Johnson. Vanessa Johnson upset that she didn't get a uh, see and get the uh, gift card. Let's 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 try to figure out what that is. People are here listening and watching, you know. But there's two hundred about two hundred fifty gift cards and thousands of people calling, you know, thousands, y'all. Sylvia Cruz Rodriguez, how are you? Tanika Melvin. South 9th Street, 144. Got that. Let me get to these numbers, y'all. Let me get to these numbers. Because I can play, I can play Fela for a long time. 
But uh, let me get to these numbers. Mo Mo said so. There she go. <laughs> there you go. I didn't see you up here. God bless you. 29 positive cases today uh, in Newark. 29 more positive cases today. That brings the number up to 103. 29 positive cases today. Uh, 29. Good evening, Deborah Smith Gregory. Hold it down in the Clinton Hill section for us. One more death than yesterday. One more death than yesterday and 29 positive cases today. Now, in these zip code numbers, here's, here's what I'm going to start doing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start giving us, uh, at the end of the week, just a, a compilation of what it looks like at the end of the week because the numbers keep going up and down, up and down because they're going through them. Some people are putting the address down there. They find out they live in another zip code, so they're taking them and they add them to other people. So what we're going to do is at the end of the week, I'll give you on Fridays all the zip code, what the zip code numbers look like so you can keep keep abreast of the, the, the zip codes, um, you know. Uh, but right now we have 29 positive cases in the city uh, uh, today and one more uh, death than yesterday. So one more death and 29 positive cases. I do want to say that 07104 over the last couple of days have witnessed uh, uh, some numbers that were a little concerning. So... If you're in 07104 and there are people reporting in that area about stores and people that uh, um, are people that are, are in stores with no mask and doing an overcrowding, we should be concerned about that in 07104. And if you live in that area, you should be reporting that uh, because, um, you know, those numbers are be, beginning to be concerning over there. So please, if, if you live in that area, make sure people are doing the right thing. And if they're not doing the right thing, Please do not be afraid to let us know. Do not be afraid uh, uh, to let us know. Uh, please. Yep. And uh, I, so I got three places now. South Street Barbecue, that's in the east. Latin Flavor in the north, right? And uh, Marbella. Three places that, that I'm, I'm going to check out. Uh it's important, y'all, uh, because we, we don't want these numbers to go up, so you have to stay on top of these people. And don't look at it like you're telling on people, you're snitching on them. Listen, you're protecting your community, you're protecting your family, you're protecting yourself. Those three spots, we're going to we're gonna check those tonight and tomorrow uh, to make sure that they're doing the right thing. Nobody should be inside eating at any places right now. Nobody should be inside at, at any place of these places right now. Nobody should be inside. So if you see people inside, then uh, you need to report that. Then you need to report that, definitely. Uh, mask up, uh, please. The mask up campaign has begun. You can still, you still have time to send your uh, um, photos and slogans to mask up Newark at newarknj.gov. Mask up Newark at NewarkNJ.gov. You can still send your photos, your masks, and your ideas to those places. You can still send it there, and we will uh, use it in our mask up campaign. We need that in our campaign. Please send that stuff uh, to us uh, because we're trying to convince as many. And if, if you have any ideas about how to convince these young people to put on their masks, please send that to us too. We need to uh, uh, convince these young people to to pick up their their masks we need uh, uh, to wear they to pick up their masks to, to wear their masks uh, we definitely need to convince them to wear their masks and if you have any ideas that that can help us convince these young people to wear their masks please send it to us mask up newark at newarknj.gov mask up newark at newarknj.gov please send it to us immediately uh, we we need all the help we can get in that area uh, I just uh, left Rafael Hernandez school. They're out there testing and doing um, right now census. If you're in the area, uh, go by. There are people out there, even in the rain, getting tested. So if you're in the area, go by Rafael Hernandez school. It is in the parking lot of the school. Uh, they're doing tests out there right now, and they're doing the census right now at Rafael Hernandez Elementary School. Please, on Broadway, go there, and you can get a test for free. And they'll help you fill out the census uh, as well. 
and, and since I'm on that, since since I'm on that, we we have uh, testing again uh, on Monday. We have testing on Monday. So so let, let me just go back. By PSE and G on Littleton Avenue, there's testing every day until Friday from nine to three. And I know a lot of you are at work now, but nine to three is a testing site by Georgia King Village. Today we have Rafael Hernandez School. We'll be there until 8 p.m. We'll be at Rafael Hernandez School until 8 p.m. On Monday, on the 13th, July 13th, Monday, we'll be at Ballantyne Parkway, which is between Ridge and Parker Street from 3:30 to 8. Ballantyne Parkway between Ridge and Parker Street. On Tuesday the 14th, we'll be at Velsburg Park. Velsburg Park on the South Orange Avenue side. Velsburg Park on the South Orange Avenue side from 3.30 to 8. That's where we'll be on Tuesday. On, on, that following, on this following Friday, July 17th, we'll be in the East Ward at Aspen River Park Apartments on Oxford Street. Aspen River Park Apartments on Oxford Street is where we'd be, right? So I've seen some comments about food relief. So I just want to tell y'all this because somebody said I'm disappointed. <laughs> we have given out 1.5 million meals to city residents. 1.5 million meals, right? Uh, the city by itself has given out 755,000 of those meals. Uh, New York Public Schools have given out the rest. We've given out thousands of gift cards. When we get more gift cards, we'll give them out again. I, I apologize. It's unfortunate that everybody couldn't get one. We don't have enough for everybody. There are hundreds of people, thousands even that are requesting, most of them seniors, most of them needy. We try to get them the gift card. Uh, if, if you did not get a gift card, if somebody said they want to give you a gift card, they didn't give it to you, I, I'm sure it was not done on purpose. Make a, make, make a, 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 a plea here on this a Facebook Live, inbox us, and we'll try to get them something immediately. No one's purposely trying to stop people from eating. In fact, we fed over a million people. So, I mean, obviously we don't have a million people. So we fed people more than once. We fed a million times, uh, more than a million times in the city. So we fed people multiple times in the city of Newark that has about 300,000 residents. So we fed people over and over and over again. Uh, and, and, and and we just ask you to bear with us. I know it's easy to to, when things are good, to to praise and when you don't get your way to get upset. But we need you to bear with us, work with us. Obviously, there are thousands of people in the city, uh, uh, you know, 40,000 families in North Public Schools, thousands of people in housing, thousands of folks in the senior buildings. We have to take, we, we take care as many as we can. We're going to continue to do it. We're going to continue to do it. So keep putting your information up here. Keep asking and we'll get you to get you the meal. If somebody needs something, they didn't get it, just say that. Just ask for it. Talk about it. Call the people, put it up here on the site. Inbox us, do what you can. Uh, today, people were there uh, serving thousands of meals, delivering thousands of meals as they do every single Wednesday. Thousands of meals. We, we pack them up at JFK and we push them out and deliver them from John F. Kennedy Recreational Center in the Central Ward. We push them all over the city. So bear with us. You know, hang in there, y'all. Hang in there. Hang in there. Let us get through this collectively and together. Don't break down, fall apart, but uh, uh, fall into dissension devilishment uh, uh, too quick. Come on, y'all. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. We almost at the finish line. Stay focused. We almost at the finish line. Almost at the finish line. We're going to keep delivering food up until September. We're going to keep delivering food up until September. And if we have to go past September, we'll figure it out. But be, be with us. Bear with us. Hang in there. Uh, also, the second round of emergency funding for small businesses and home-based businesses, right? Uh, we're giving uh, uh, up to $10,000 grants for small businesses, folks who have uh, home-based establishments who are so, sole proprietors, and they can use it for, for almost anything. Uh, the deadline applies July 13, 2020. This is for home-based businesses. Uh, July 13, 2020 is the deadline to apply. You have to go to uwnork.org, uwnork.org. Uh, uh, UW Newark, the whole thing is uwnork.org slash COVID-19 slash organizations. uwnork.org slash COVID-19 slash organizations. That's one more time. uwnork.org slash COVID-19 slash organizations. These are for businesses that um, <clears throat> need some assistance that are home-based business. You can get a grant 
up to $10,000, up to $10,000. Deadline is July 13, 2020. Listen, we've given grants to, to, to small businesses. We've given grants to artists, organizations. We've given grants. We've gave out grants to nonprofits. Uh, we've helped hundreds of people pay their rent, right? We're giving out now to home-based businesses. And when we get more funding, we'll continue to do the same. We've been pushing this out. And I don't know many municipalities that have been working, working hard to make sure we provide the, 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 the help and support to the residents the way we have. And, 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 and it's not as just us, me trying to pat ourselves on the back, just saying there's some people in here that are working, that are doing good work by the city. Uh, and, and sometimes the, you don't get everything you need when you want to get it. And, 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 and that causes us to break down completely. But I'm telling you, uh, we're going to continue to do what we can and service as many people as we can, as long as we can, as long as God allows us to do so. Uh, I, I mentioned the pop-up COVID testing sites. Um, we, we're going to do our community cleanups. Uh, July 11th, this Saturday, is the Central Ward. You can pick your supplies up at the Rotunda Rec Center uh, on Clifton Avenue or Congregational Baptist Church on Bergen Street. Congregational Baptist Church on Burger Street or Rotunda Center. You can pick up supplies as early as 8.30 a.m. for the Central Ward cleanup. Um, the dumpster locations for the Central Ward. Saturday, dumpster locations. <clears throat> dumpster number one will be at Washington and West Kenny Street. That's the Lincoln Park area. Washington and West Kenny Street. The second one will be at North 5th Street and 6th Avenue. North 5th Street and 6th Avenue. That's the second dumpster. The third dumpster will be at Garside and 3rd Avenue. Garside and 3rd Avenue. That's the third dumpster. The fourth dumpster will be at Sus Sussex and Dorea. Sussex and Dorea. The fifth dumpster will be at South 10th Street and Blum near Harriet Tubman School. Fifth dumpster will be at South 10th Street and Blum near Harriet Tubman School. The sixth dumpster will be at 15th Avenue and 7th Street. 15th Avenue and 7th Street. The seventh dumpster will be at Third Street and Central Avenue. Third Street and Central Avenue, the seventh dumpster. The eighth dumpster will be at in the Roseville area at Seventh Avenue and North Fourth. At Seventh Avenue and North Fourth. The ninth dumpster will be on Crane and Martin Luther King Boulevard. Crane and Martin Luther King Boulevard. Uh, right over there. Crane, that is right by the, 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 the townhouses over there. Uh, Winona Lippman. Crane and Martin Luther King Boulevard. 10. The 10th dust will be at Burnett Street at the James Street community. Will be at Burnett Street. The 10th dumpster will be at Burnett Street. All of these are dumpsters to help you clean up your neighborhood, clean up your block, clean up your home while you have an opportunity to do that. Clean it up. People are I mean, when are we going to clean up? We clean it up every weekend. We've been cleaning up and the street sweepers are out. Join us. Get up, wake up, get involved. Come out, help us clean the place up. This is our city, not my city, our city. There are 10 dumpsters that are going to be around in the Central Ward, Saturday, July 11th. Please take a part in that. Uh, the next Saturday will be at the North Ward uh, at the Vince Lombardi Center of Hope is where you pick your supplies up at Vince Lombardi Center of Hope. Uh, the summer, month, summer Fun Movie Night for tonight is canceled. It was The Lion King on Clinton Avenue because of the weather, but we will resume on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We'll resume on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, Summer Fun Movie Nights. And you can go to the City of Newark website, City of Newark website, and you can pull down all of the Summer Fun activities that will be going on uh, for young people uh, and families in the city. All of the Summer Fun activities that will be available for young people and families uh, in the city. Also, we are teaming up with the Newark Public Library to offer people with assistance with the 2020 census. If you're having trouble doing the census, you could go to the library, uh, go to the libraries in your neighborhoods, right? And it'll be from 11 a.m. to 2.30 on Wednesdays and Fridays all through July. On Wednesdays and Fridays, you can go to any of the libraries uh, uh, from 11 to 2.30, from 11 a.m. to 2.30, uh, any of the libraries and get help with your census. Uh, so the Van Buren branch, the North End Branch on Van Buren Branch on Van Buren Street, North End Branch on Summer Avenue, Spring from Branch on Hay Street. Uh, you can go there uh, as well. Uh, and you can complete it on your own at 2020census.gov, 2020census.gov, or call by phone 844-330-2020, 844-330-2020.
Yep. So we're gonna continue. I'm I'm gonna answer uh, uh some of this thing, some of these things on here. You know it's bad. Uh, uh, let, let's do it. I like mask it or casket. Either either you wear one or you or or one will wear you. I love that one, Deborah. I love it. That is good. I love it. I love it. Uh, the governor, the governor, the governor just passed a a an executive order that make that makes it mandatory now for people to wear masks in public. The governor just passed it supersedes my executive orders saying that it's mandatory for people to wear their mask in public. You have to put your mask on. We're out telling people to wear, wear their mask, uh, to put it on. And I I would I would, you know, I, I'm not so pressed about you having on a mask if you're by yourself or even if with your you with your loved one, your significant other, you're walking up and down the street. Obviously if it's three or more people uh, I want you to wear a mask. If you're in a crowd of people, you should be wearing a mask. You should be wearing a mask. Yep, you should be wearing a mask. I, that's what that's what uh, uh, that's what I think. And if you know any people that are not wearing masks, you should convince them uh, to wear a mask. And we need help with these young people. So please, we need help with these young people. We need help. They are not putting these masks on. And here's what I'm concerned about, like. Uh, um, if we can't get the young people to put on the mask now, right? When, 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 and if school opens back up in September, if they if they can't wear it now, I'm really concerned about them wearing the mask inside the school. Like, are they actually going to do it? And and, and if they don't do it, it, it will create problems. It will create problems for 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 them, and obviously create problems uh, for the folks in this city, right? For the folks in this city, it's important. It's important for us to figure out how to get these, uh, how to get these people uh, you know, to wear these masks to put these masks on. So somebody just said, uh, "What's the new numbers in Newark?" That I'm doing a lot of talking, but not a lot of talking about that. I I I tell the new numbers at the beginning. So if if you tuned in late, then you didn't hear the new numbers. And I give the new numbers out every day. I give it out every day. Every single day. Folks, we have to really do better at being a community, y'all. Like, seriously, we really have to. We are angry at everything. We more angry at each other than we are at the virus, at the sickness, at the disease. We we, 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 we focused on the wrong things, right? So, at, at, at every the reason that we do this is so we can give an update. At the beginning of all of these, I give an update. So let me do it again for the people who just came on, right? Let me do it again. Let me do it again. We have 29 more positive cases now, which brings us up to 103 since we started over at uh, June 30th, 2020. On June 30th, I said we're going to scratch everything that happened in the past and start there. Why? Because the numbers are big and some of those people have recovered from those uh, sicknesses already. And so we started at June 30th. At, so now we have 103 since June 30th, and we have one more death since yesterday. Keep track of that. On every Friday now, I'm going to give the all of the zip codes, right? So keep track of that. And, and you can find out uh, when you are, uh, when you in fact, uh, uh, or in your neighborhood, uh, what the what the rate of infection looks like, right? So, and some of these people I actually know, which is like bizarre to me. But at, at the end of the day, we do this every single day. Join us, be a community, be a community, y'all, be a community. And then when you get the information, spread the information out, spread the information out, give people the right information, so you'll know what in fact is going on in your city, in your city, in your city, in your city, in your city <laughs> right and so some people say that the masks don't help that's not true the evidence is now showing us that if two people wear on a mask you have a 1.4 or 5 percent chance of contracting the virus if two people wear a mask we put up a a a, a graphic to describe to people uh the the rate that you can catch the infection so if one person has on a mask, if no people have on a mask, if two people have on a mask, the idea is that every we have to treat everybody like they are in fact infected. So everybody has to wear a mask. Everybody has to sit, uh, 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 wear a mask. And, and so uh, if, if everybody wore a mask, then everybody would 
uh, uh, be safer. That's why when you're around people, that's why when you're around people, you have to make sure that they wear a mask when they're talking to you, right? They have to make uh, wear a mask when they're talking to you. Uh, so let me get to some of this stuff. Uh, Beverly, I don't have control over whether the, uh, 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 the school's open or not, but I, I definitely say my opinion, and I'm sure the superintendent knows uh, uh, when when um you know when, if he see the numbers going up and things look rough he gonna he's gonna double back on all of that stuff uh uh I, I know that so we we talking to, uh, every single day and we're doing what we can uh to make sure that when we when we get back into the school if we go there that um you know the kids are safe we're not gonna send kids back into a situation where we think it is not safe right and part of that has to do with how we behave now. So if we do what we're supposed to do and we behave how we're supposed to behave now, wear our mask, socially distance, don't do the things that, that are going to cause the numbers to go up, then it'll be easier for the children when, it, when it's time to go back to school, as well as other events that, that, uh, uh, you know, that we want to open up for our kids, pool, all these other things uh, that are going on. So it's important, it's important right, that um, uh, we do what we need to do right now, all of us, that we make sure uh, that we're following instructions and we're doing everything the right way, y'all. We're doing everything uh, the right way, please. So thank everybody. I just wanna, you know, uh, Just T sent me something again. She, I can always count on her. Uh, uh, Teresita, thank you. Uh, Nayira Wahid, who is an incredible poet, y'all. If you don't know ever heard of Nayira, Na Nayira Wahid, you should. She's on Instagram. It's very short, it says, I don't pay attention to the world ending it has ended for me many times and began again in the morning. And that's a beautiful poem, right? I, I don't care about the world ending for me. It ends every day and it begins again in the morning. So it's okay. Don't y'all get upset because people get on here and complain. They have misplaced priorities. They're upset. People are upset. That's the assignment. They come here to do that, to disrupt, to do whatever. It's all right. What we have to do is keep pushing, stay focused. Beat up on this virus. Those folks are not our enemies. The enemy right now is this virus. COVID-19 is our enemy. We're praying for those people so they can stay focused, so they can join us, so they can have the answers to the questions that they're asking for. Some of them are asking for, for things that we've already given them. It's all right. Just keep praying for them. Let's stay focused, y'all. Our enemy is COVID-19, not each other. COVID-19, not each other. Let's beat COVID-19. Then we can get back to the foolishness of going at each other's throats. God bless y'all. See you tomorrow.